what I mean? But you know, certain things happen that didn't allow it to happen. So, well, I'm here as me. Yeah, I guess. That was nice, I guess, right? I wanted all the girls to sit on my lap in my Santa outfit, but uh, I got discontinued. Right. This is a Crystal Head uh, vodka. It's our sponsor for the night. And if you guys want a shot, feel more than free to do that. And I also got some lemonade chases to go with it. It's right behind you right there, the lemonade chases. Or did it go? Oz! <laughs> Where's Oz at, man? We run a professional establishment as y'all can see. Oh, there he is. Eating pizza and shit. With a cigarette in his hand. Priorities in life. It's already has to be right in, but if you want to take a shot, you can still double blast it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? You can shoot it and chase it like that if you want. Yeah! That's a classy establishment right here. And for y'all that are on your way down here, this is a BYOBB event. Bring your own brown bag. Whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? Just don't come at me. He's training, so you can't get into that. Yeah, he's training, right? So that's not yeah, yeah. part of the diet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now, now we all set up. Yeah, we good. We good. Introduce yourselves. Let me know we have a spot. Let me take that thing out. I love you. Everybody knows me. I hold the uh, 12 world titles in kickboxing. I'm a two-time Hall of Famer. I have uh, over 200 fights. And I don't anybody to do anything. He's still fighting. I can't handle the rest. Where are you originally from? I was raised in Wilmington. And what we'll got you in the, in the fighting? Well, you know, it's been, uh, it's been fighting and going to jail. Yeah. And, uh, I'm just fighting. <laughs> and so how many dudes did you fucking just spit their fucking face open, you know what I mean? Because it must feel good when you crack them, you know? It only depends where. I have over 200 fights professionally. Yeah, over 200. Over 300 fights in the streets. It only depends where. I know, because I saw you the other day, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I still have a black guy. But that was because a friend of mine, got to, I was just a referee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the crossfire, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. When we go out, you're like, I don't know. I just feel safe. I don't know why. You know. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, who do we have right now? <laughs> my name is Gilbert Lagunas, better known out here in East LA as Gizmo. That's good, man. What, what you, you training, right? You ain't drinking right now. No. What, what are we training for, man? I mean, I got a fight. I mean, I got a fight February 25th. He's my trainer. Hector well, yeah, fight fest, baby. <laughs> Deja vu strip club fights. Shit. Tattoos. Hip -hop. Tattoos. Hip hop. And, and deja vu, so you know, female strippers. Yeah, we're hoping we can get out of them fight on the venue somehow, yeah. some way. Yeah, right? we're still working. Put them in the gym and get them in there. We I'm have sure. a couple of events, a couple yeah. fight two cards. Oh, the female cards. Can we get them to be the deja vu strippers? We can't have the deja vu, you know, because they have the live and stuff, but we can have all the female stuff. Yeah. Can okay. we try it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what makes you choose like doing these events? They're not your typical, I guess, MMA, you know, events. What makes you choose to do these? Because we're all different. All Mexicans are different. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we <laughs> we're brown. Not black, not white, or the right in the middle. Oscar's yeah. different though, man. Dude. <laughs> He's yeah. green, like, you're like an alien, yeah. man. Uh, Oscar Girls fights like, to liberate people. I love him. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, did you meet Oscar? No, I haven't. Oh, you, you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where's, where's Oz at? Yeah. Right here. No. Oh, man. We, we, we do events. You met him before, right there, Jim? Yes. No. <laughs> 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 He's like, Yes. He's like, Yes. He looks like Jesus. He looks like Jesus. Anyways, we, we promote events to get people off the streets, get them a better lifestyle, get off the gang vibe. You know what? We all, I lived it. Everybody else, he's lived it. So in martial arts, you give them a different kind of line, you know, if you become the best, so what you do, you got to train really hard, you know, nothing's given to you for free, if not everybody will do it. We want everybody to change their life, in the house we do, we're promoting shows with Danny, Danny's of course one of the promoters, and we have Vice Fest, you call it Vice Fest, because we have a whole festival, we have music, we have uh, music tattoos, we have women for everybody. Man, what more could you ask for? <laughs> what, what, where are you guys training now? Do you also run the gym or? Yes, we have a couple of gyms. Okay. We have a gym in Ohio. We have the one of the gyms here in uh, in uh, oh, and okay. it's in Chester. We have two gyms. Capitalize it. Where champions are made. That's what we call it. 
the other civilized one person is where all the champs are made. Nice. How, how many how many students would you say at one given time? Honestly, you know what? Let me know if you guys are coming out tomorrow. It's wow. free Friday and Saturday. Yeah. 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 At every level, every age also? Or? <laughs> no, all all right. Right. Say, you know what? What what makes the best fighter? It's not what the best. It's how much effort a person puts into it. You know, I cannot say, you know what? You're going to be the best champ. You know, this guy, they have all the talent in the world, yeah. but they don't train. And then you get a guy that trains forever. So you tell me who's going to win. The guy that runs 10 miles and the guy that has all the talent in the world doesn't run. I go for the guy that runs 10 miles. Yeah, there it is. That's what they need. That's life. That's great. You know, you Stay got up. guys that want it, and guys that just want to give it. Hand it to it, you know, so that's what we named it when champions are made. My wife is the one that came up with the name when champions are made because you know what? Everybody's a champion. But how much do you want it? Yeah. It's real shit. You know, how much you want it? <laughs> so sorry, are you, are you still do you still look for fighters or you know, they come to you or you take them as they come or how do you pick? You know what that criteria about it. You know what? Usually everybody comes to us. And of course, there's a membership. There's different kind of people. There's people that want to fight. The people want to learn self defense. And it's just people that want to just kick people's asses. <laughs> but believe it or not, there's the kind of people that I don't want. I don't want those kind of people. I don't want those kind of people. <laughs> Right, though. You know, so, so, so if I show up, you can't just teach me like one chokehold so when I'm drunk at the bar. He's going to start kicking ass. He's going to get fucked up his whole life. He doesn't want one fight yet. But you know what? I beat your ass the last time, Danny. Come on. Uh, no, no, no. He, didn't wanna, he didn't release the video. <laughs> then I was going to take him. Here's what I'll take him. Take him out of here. Take my life work, please. <laughs> Anyways, what we'll be doing right here is, is redemption. Everybody, myself personally, I did five years of coming Bay. You know, I put five cops in hospital. I'm not proud of it, Damn. but I grew up in Wilmington. Yeah. And you know what? I, Ghost town. Ghost town. <laughs> Eastside. Eastside, we must. <laughs> anyways, anyways huh? I'm 40 years old. Anyways. You know Anthony Espino? No, he said we must. Yeah, the mics are on. It's a little bit too old. Yeah. 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 I missed that trade. Yeah. 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 Anyways. That's my like that one. I use we want to change people's lifestyle. As me yeah. and Danny spoke to, we have Kate vs. Khan, that is one of the owners, Kate vs. Yeah. Khan. And the concept is to change people's life. You know what? You got Gilbert, but we're not. He's an ex convict to himself, and he wants to change his life. You know, say a little bit about yourself, Gilbert. Yeah, well, I grew up right here, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, the other side of East LA. Uh, Served some time. Well, I actually grew up in the system. I mean, uh, I came out. I came out to join. Just wanted to fight. I met up with uh, one of my boys who happens to know. I don't know what promoter he knows for uh, Cage vs. Khan. And uh, they just they needed to say, go out to Hooters. If you want to fight, go out there. And just walked in. I don't know what the hell I was getting myself into. You know what I, mean? I just said, fuck it. I want to fight. <laughs> and uh, I got shot down. I mean, obviously, you know what I mean. I got no no tempo. Let me ask you one question. You got shot down because you started doing gang sign. It's it's a promotional thing. You said, hey, I'm gonna give you a fight. You came in to fight people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Don't go that you way. You gotta do paperwork first and shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he just came in swinging, no? Sign, so, uh, sign the contract, please. Sign the contract. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. I, mean, I just pretty much walked in. And, I thought it was just going to be an all-out fight, you know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, back with Hooters. Back with Let me cut in. By the way, Michael is the one that introduced me to him. You know what? I got a young kid, young, kind of rough in the edges. I, I need you to shape him for me because I want him to represent k versus this And I go, you know what? Okay, I met, I met Gilbert. His name is Gilbert. And he's a nice kid. You know, people, people, people characterize you because of what you've done, what you have, but not who you are. And that's what I take advantage of. That's why he calls us a champion. And he's a champion. And I really got to know him as a person. And he will be a champion. Is this your first professional fight? Yes. Oh, okay. It's my first fight, so, I mean, I'm really looking forward to that. With, with the training, I mean, are you taking other fights as they come? Is it just sparring, or how do you like how do you prepare for the moment? Is it your first fight? As of right now, I'm just sparring. I mean, I haven't really taken any other fights. But uh, shit, if any offers come through, I wish. Now, now, now when that comes, you gotta talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, nobody talks. I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, Donald Ray. Don, Pe <laughs> Don Pedro? Donaldo, no? <laughs> Donaldo. <laughs> uh, pretty good. Man, well, you got representation. You're way ahead, you're about ahead of more than 90% of the But fighting. you know what? Damn. I'm going to be honest here with everybody. It's not who you know, what you know. It's who you are. Okay, yeah. if you're a bad person, then you're going to be dealt by a bad person. If you're a genuine good person, you shine by yourself, so you be dealt with the right person. I got Michael, Danny, myself. You know, there's, there's, money's not an issue. It's who you are. So I remember that, it's who you are. There it is. You have, a, you have contact information that you keep up with you, Facebook or something with it? Yeah, I, I got Facebook, it's called uh, the, Gizmo, the Gizmo Matrix, it's my, uh, my, my uh, email address. And there's a story out on me too from the LA Weekly. Nice. You find it as uh, the, the Gizmo Matrix. Oh shit. There you go. OGHuskyRadio.com. February 25th. Fight Fest. Yep. Deja Vu. Yes. Hip Hop. Tattoos. Tattoos. <laughs> and more importantly, felony fights and sick fuck clothing, baby. No, I'm going to play strippers. Nobody wants it. And nobody heard shit. I you said, said he's he's a a strip. Strip. a stripper. I thought he said <laughs> Just beautiful nude women. Yeah, beautiful nude women. Make sure you guys come out. Actually, spot. We've been out there. It's actually not that hard. Cooked up. Make sure you guys come out and support. <laughs> no shit. How many fights are you looking for that night? Yeah, ten, ten. Ten fights. Ten fights. <laughs> Man, 10 fights, hip hop festival. No, 10 yeah, savage, bloody, nose breaking fights. <laughs> but at the end of the night, everybody's real respectful. Yeah. You know, win or lose, it's not about the win or lose. It's what you got out there and you did it. You know what? It takes a lot of heart to get up there. You know, I, I, I've done over 200 fights and say, well, man, my well, one fight it doesn't mean that much. Guys, you know how, how nervous you get before you get up in the rain? Your parents, your mom, your girlfriend, everybody's watching you and you go, hmm. You know how many times I said, man, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> but you got to do it. You got to do it. You know what? That's what makes you who you are. There it is. OGSPRadio.com. Thank you guys for coming through. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks. Peace. Stay close to more of you to come. <laughs>